I've been asked to talk about what data protection is not. I think this is a really interesting topic and an important one. And my answer is, in one word, it's not mechanical. Far too often we see programs that uh, are very mechanical in nature. Uh, they try to make it easy uh, and understandably because uh, there are a lot of complicated uh, issues with privacy. It can be very complex. Uh, so they want to make it efficient, uh, automate as much as possible, create a lot of forms and, and, and uh, all sorts of uh, procedures. So, um, uh, and, and I think that's important to try to streamline things uh, and not let things become overly complex. Uh, but there's a danger in becoming too mechanical about this. Uh, and that is privacy is really complex. It involves a lot of judgment calls. I've been studying privacy for uh, about 25 years now, and I still learn something every day. I still struggle over a lot of issues. Uh, this isn't something that you can do in a paint by numbers fashion. It takes constant judgment, constant thought, constant rethought on a lot of issues. Uh, so the thing I urge with privacy programs is to resist getting complacent in making things uh, mechanical. I think automation is great. It's a helpful tool. I think there are certainly uh, important things to do for efficiency. Uh, but you must always think about judgment and always have someone who really is thinking about these issues in a non-mechanical fashion to improve things. And I'll give just one example of how I think uh, an overly mechanical approach can grow awry. Uh, and that is with um, privacy by design. With privacy by design, um, we often uh, now are seeing laws that require privacy by design or encourage privacy by design. And a lot of companies are saying, hey, you know, we do privacy by design. We bake privacy into our products and services at the get-go. Well, one problem though, is that there's an underlying issue that's very complicated, which is, well, what is privacy? And that's a very tricky issue. Privacy is not just one thing, it's actually many things, and it involves a lot of thought. It's a very difficult question and involves a lot of study and thinking to figure this out. But far too often what I see is that uh, there's very little thought about what privacy is. So when companies say, hey, we're baking privacy in, they just do a couple things and then call it privacy. Uh, but oftentimes it's very incomplete. They're missing a lot of important uh, things that they should be doing. So in a way, if you're baking privacy in, how can you bake something in without a recipe? You really need to understand what privacy is all about and be comprehensive if you're truly baking it in. And this kind of thought, this pause, uh, let's really think about what our conception of privacy is, seems like an academic exercise, but it's essential for a good privacy program. And so my urge uh, for, for folks who are, are doing privacy compliance is to think about it not just as compliance in the terms of, okay, we just check things off a checkbox or we do things in a mechanical way, uh, but think about it more qualitatively. Think about it as something that you do uh, and that you're constantly thinking about. Uh, take some time to really think about, well, what is privacy? Have discussions with people about it. Really spend time to uh, ferret out all the issues. And uh, I think that privacy law often um, will you know, not focus enough on the qualitative dimensions of privacy programs. They make it easy to say, oh, if I just have a, a checklist of things, I do these things, I have policies, check. Uh, I, I, I did something for privacy by design, check. I have training, check, uh, without looking too much to the how good they are uh, and, and the qualitative aspects of them. And I think that's where it really counts. 
is how uh, is, is this qualitative component. Uh, and so spend time thinking about that, resist the urge to be mechanical, and I think it'll have a great payoff in a much more robust and protective privacy program.